Hey guys, so uh, I wanted to do a quick little comparison here of the speed and performance between the Honor 7 uh, and the OnePlus 2. So uh, both of these phones probably about the same in terms of the price. Uh, maybe the Honor a little bit more. In fact, the Honor is probably a little bit cheaper uh, than the OnePlus 2. Uh, this is the 4 gig OnePlus 2, so probably a little bit more expensive than uh, the Honor, but you know, both coming with some nice specs here when it comes to the price, and we can have a look at how they perform. So we're just going to boot them both off here at the same time. Go. Cool. So nearly the same time, uh, and uh, we can just go and boot them both on. So I think the uh, Honor 7 probably a little bit more premium, but you know the OnePlus 2 is very well built in itself. And we do have slightly different in terms of the uh, fingerprint sensor with the one on the front on the OnePlus 2, uh, whereas Huawei's gone to the back option. Uh, you can see the Honor does actually boot on first, which is nice as well. Uh, but we do get uh, EMUI, which is very quirky kind of software, versus a more stock Oxygen OS, obviously. Uh, we can have a look at how they compare in terms of the day-to-day. -day. I think we're all closed down uh, in regards to everything, which is nice, as well as up-to-date. So, so far it looks like the uh, OnePlus 2 here. A little bit ahead. Quite a bit of a delay there on the Honor. Same for the cam. What uh, the clock? What about the camera? So you can see here. I think the OnePlus Two is uh, a little bit dominant when it comes to, you know, your day-to-day -day kind of stuff. About the same for the dialer. And also the. Uh, Play Store, which I should have on here somewhere. There we go. So quite similar there, but I think you can see maybe a little bit quicker when it comes to the day-to-day -day kind of apps on the OnePlus 2. But when it comes to the game, how do they compare? So it looks like the Honor. It looks like the Honor was actually quicker there when it came to the game, which is very nice. GTA. Well, GTA is being different, so a little bit quicker on the OnePlus 2. So I think I'm probably going to support the OnePlus 2 here uh, when it comes to most stuff. Maybe it's a software, you know. I definitely think uh, they need to lighten down the uh, Huawei kind of skin. Be more like the Nexus 6P. Uh, so we can see here we're both uh, on the same Wi-Fi 
and generally they seem to be doing quite well here both of them very little in the way of you know kind of laggy performance quite similar again here maybe the honor 7 slightly ahead though which is nice You can see again on a seven. Uh, I have to say the display on the on a seven looks a little bit more colourful than the one on the uh, one plus. You can see it seems to hold its colours a little bit better. I think it's the IPS Neo technology phone arena. Again, you can see the pictures have loaded quicker on the Honor 7. So we're going to support the Honor 7, I think, when it comes to the web browsing, which is nice. Uh, I think quite definitively decisive there, which is good. Uh, what about the multitasking? We can have a look at that as well. So let's go back. So we've got some uh, different multitasking here so let's try this so twitch so you can see very similar for the first two just slightly different animations obviously But no difference, which is you know worth mentioning, which is good. A little bit slow for the keyboard on the honor, and also camera. A little bit quicker here on the one plus two for the camera, which is good. And also we do have Sonic Boom. So a little bit quicker to jump back in there on the OnePlus 2 and GTA. And again. So maybe a smidgen quicker on the OnePlus 2, but this is the 4 gig model, so you know maybe because of that it's getting a bit more advantage. Could be a bit closer with the 3 gig model, uh, but uh, how do they compare in terms of the cameras? That's another interesting question. Uh, obviously, we're getting the uh, 20 megapixel camera here on the, the Honor, which I think is the same as the one in the Moto X style. Uh, and Moto X Play versus the 30 megapixel optical image stabilized camera uh, in the OnePlus 2 and you can have a look at the uh, actual uh, performance here I didn't actually uh, save uh, the photos on the uh, Honor 7 so I probably can't show you them on the phone but I did save them to a memory card uh, we can, you can swap out the uh, memory on the Honor 7 which is nice uh, and you can see generally you know very comparable performance uh, really I don't think there's a huge difference per se maybe the quality is a little bit better on the OnePlus 2 because of the optical image stabilization but you know you can make your own mind up really uh, I found them to be very uh, good for what you know they're bringing to the table uh, I think uh, generally the um, low light uh, is probably a little bit more clearer on the uh, one plus two because of that OIS as well you know it does benefit in a number of different situations but you can have a look nevertheless and uh, we did also do some uh, video recording uh, obviously you get your 4k ability on the one plus two which is pretty cool
So it would have been nice if uh, Huawei had included like 4K, uh, you know, for the Honor 7 here. It should have it should be really capable with a 20 megapixel camera. Uh, but nevertheless, you know, if you uh, look at the entirety of it, you can see I think the OnePlus 2. Uh, you know this model is probably a little bit more powerful than the Honor 7 uh, but then again you know this is slightly more expensive so I'm thinking the uh, lower end OnePlus 2 might be a little bit more comparable however it is crippled with 16 gigs internal storage uh, whereas you get your micro SD expandability on the Honor 7 uh, also we're getting fast charging which is very nice obviously uh, so and you know premium kind of build quality which I feel I think feels a little bit more classier than the OnePlus 2 uh, which uh, feels solid in itself don't get me wrong but uh, also obviously we're getting uh, quite big batteries on both of them uh, I don't think either of them have the best battery lives really but they should see you through the day I was expecting a little bit better battery life out of the Honor 7 but I think maybe they need to you know work on the EMUI at the end of the day, if uh, I was going to re recommend one of these two to you, I'd say if, you know if you're liking customizability, uh, something a little bit different. The Honor 7 is probably a better choice here. Uh, you know you get a lot of customization options as well as like shortcuts on EMUI, uh, which you don't get with more stock kind of builds of Android. I think you can also access the camera as well by drawing things. So it's just. I probably not got it turned on actually, but you can do things like that. Uh, obviously, the OnePlus 2 is much closer to stock here, and if you enjoy your stock, you will enjoy this uh, experience more. Uh, but some people might view that as boring. So you know, uh, some pros and cons, nevertheless. And I uh, hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Obviously, we do get front-facing LED as well. Forgot to mention that on the Honor. Uh, so yeah, just a quick little video here. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.